Hey Danielle, Chelsea here with Craft and Grow. Welcome to my garden. It is July 7th. I thought I would give you a quick garden tour. I have 16 raised beds. It is a lot. Some of it's been a little challenging, uh, particularly with the peppers, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. Anyway, I thought I'd take you along a quick tour so you, you can see what I got going on here in Zone 6B, Southwest Michigan. So here we go. Ready? Let's do this. We got Lilo playing with the bugs. Good job, girl. We have our Roma tomatoes, which are doing okay. Just getting some tomatoes. But these are my pride and joy. I absolutely love these. These are grappoles tomatoes. Essentially like a small kind of like grape-ish tomato. It is super thick. And then this was a great surprise. I left onions here over winter and they turned into these beautiful white beautiful balls of flowers it is just gorgeous okay and then I have my herbs my uh, cilantro that turns into essentially coriander and it receives itself it's amazing basil buy every year sage thyme oregano I got a celery experiment right there and my horseradish. I love me some horseradish. I don't much Oh, and there's Mr. Wormy. Hi, Mr. Wormy. You keep the bugs away, sir. Tent experiment. We have uh, kale, spinach, lettuce, uh, red cabbage, Boston lettuce, muslin lettuce. So far, so good. And then we got our little uh, little medium beef steaks there. And I got some serious red cabbage out outside. This boy is doing, mm, girl, you're doing so good. We got our yellow and uh, yellow squash and green zucchini over there. Sad but true, peppers. Got some uh, sweet potatoes there. Two uh, pepper plants uh, from my brother-in-law. All right, this is a sad bed. I'm really sorry to say this. That is onion from seed. This is onion I started from seed inside and then I planted when they were, I don't know, six inches tall. They've grown quite well. So I've cut them back because they've reached about past 15 inches. But yeah, this is a weeding nightmare. So I, I got to get my, my butts on that. I got my Brussels, my Brussels sprouts. So I covered it with a uh, cloth just to kind of keep out those nasty little worms and moths. And then eventually they'll go on this giant uh, white hoop house because the Brussels sprouts grow really tall, really wide. And as the Brussels sprouts grow underneath, you pluck them off and then you take the leaves off and you keep going right at the stalk as the season goes. Then we got the ever famous, who doesn't like, Banes. We got the Bush Lakes. We got the Trilogies, amazing. Just throw a bunch of beans on the ground. What I don't do all frivolously, I, I strategically like to plant those like, look, that is going to be a purple bean. Absolutely beautiful. And then we got our garden green beans. We got our wax beans because my mama loves some, some wax beans. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful yellow too. Um, and some other beans. Jade twos. Amazing. Oh, this is super great. I am so excited about Look at this. Y'all know what this is? This is watermelons. Watermelons. They're crawling right at my trellis, which is amazing. Super exciting. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's a sad pinwheel. It died. Yeah, it's growing right at the trellis. Super exciting. Hey, Mr. Beans. And we're going to turn all of this into a nice uh, composting area. Soon to be. And on this other side, we got our potatoes. Haven't quite... Uh, we need to put in some more hay. Or, I'm sorry, we need to put in more straw in our potato patch so it continues to grow up. Got more potatoes. That's not a potato, sorry. That, those are potatoes. These, ladies and gentlemen, are bottleneck gourds. We have tried to grow these for the last few years. And look, you can see. There's just a bay. Oh, two babies. A bottleneck gourds. So super exciting. The key is that the bees have to find the pollination to then feed the fruit, to make the fruit big. See, this one's already turning yellow. The bee did not find this. I am so sorry. So sorry about bottleneck gourd. 
And then we got our corn experiment. This is one type of corn, this is sweet corn. My carrots, we grow uh, Danvers carrots uh, here in uh, zone 6B. They're a fantastic carrot. I got a rogue tomato in there. I just let it be. You know, don't, don't mess with Mother Nature. Got some more carrots here. And then we got our yellow and green squash, zucchinis. Let's see if I can bring you in close. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hey, baby. Look at those buddies. The baby. That baby may not make it. See a little yellow tip down there? Bean may not have found it in time, which is fine. And then we got, oh, see it? The yellow one right there. Doing super well. Uh, some more squash. These were donated tomato plants from my girlfriend in Chicago, Jan. Hey, Jan. Um, tomatoes. One is doing absolutely stellar. This, this, this buddy's on like steroids, man. This is crazy. That guy's a little, a little lacking. It's all good. Got some basil. The, dude, these are rocking out. And then, sir, these, my cucumbers, late starting. What's going on? Y'all need to catch up quick. This is so sad. They would be like halfway up my trellis by now. I did not start them inside. Shame on me. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Corn. Beautiful corn. This is loofah. When I say loofah, you're like, what? The shower scrubby thing? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. This is the shower scrubby thing. This will grow really long, narrow, loofah-shaped gourds. And they will dry out. You will harvest them. And then you will shake them like a maraca. Shake them like I don't care. And to hear all the beautiful seeds inside, these are heirloom seeds. I planted these from the seeds that I got last year. Cut them all open, you got beautiful. You got the hard loofah. Got my strawberry bed. These are ever bearing. These come back every single year. Yeah, I know I got some weeds. I got some weeds there, I got some weeds there. But yeah, these are great. I've already had about half a pound of strawberries so far this year. Peppers, and then two. The tags got lost somewhere in transport. I don't know what happened. I don't know what these are. They're some type of squash. Basil. But these are bell peppers. And then look at these. Oh my God. You would swear that these are wheat. Well, that's a weed patch. I gotta get, I gotta get that gone. But that, that, and this, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to artichoke world. These grow super tall, super wide. Super excited to see if I can be successful in growing artichokes. And then we hit, come to our uh, pepper bed. Again, I'm super sad. So sorry. I got a, a wee pepper right there. Not by much. I got potatoes right there. They're all fenced in. They're already flowering, which is super cool. Okay, don't judge me. I don't know why I did this. I put a tomatillo plant in with my peppers. Really? I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, I did not know this thing grew so tall. It's probably, I have one foot raised beds, but this is probably three feet tall, but doing super wicked awesome. Look at that. Look at those buddies. Hey buddies. Hey buddy. And then these are from my brother-in-law. Um, hey brother. Hey brother. These are like chocolate spicy peppers. They look ornamental, but you can actually eat them. And we got a Serrano's. Hey, Lulu. Hey, buddy. Or, hey, girl. What's going on? And then we got more potatoes. I love planting potatoes on raised beds. I We have planted potatoes on raised beds for now three years to four years. It just works out so much better. Oh, my God. The growth is amazing. Look at that kale. Look. We just, dude, we just cut this yesterday. Look at the size of this leaf. High five. Those suckers get huge. This is my garlic. Hey, garlic. I planted this at the end of season last year. I'm going to be harvesting it here in the next uh, couple weeks. I'll be braiding it because it's, I don't, know, I don't know, something is so satisfying about growing your own garlic. It's great. I love it. I'm going to be planting over 200 heads next year, or I should say this year for harvest next year. Thanks so much for uh, joining me in my garden tour this July. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great growing season. 
Have a good one, everybody. Take care. Bye.